trying to race me. <laughs> Cows are deceptively fast. First runs in the Hoka Carbon X3 are done. I uh, went out on Wednesday for just like an easy run. Uh, you know, it wasn't anything crazy. It was like uh, six miles. Easy pace, just kind of, you know, moving along. And they felt great, honestly. First run, uh, these things felt really good. I was kind of surprised, honestly. And then today, I uh, was supposed to be a hill workout. I was supposed to do a 30 minute warm up and then four one minute at like a tempo pace uh, at a, on a hill, like a eight to 10% incline hill. Uh, and then, you know, two minute recovery, do it again, and then just cool down the time for a total of an hour. So uh, work was crazy today and I didn't get to go, it was a hill I was gonna go try to do it on today, but I had to settle for my treadmill. So hopped on the treadmill uh, and did 10% incline for those one minute intervals and the shoes did great. I mean, these things did uh, a really good job. I was, I was, you know, honestly a little surprised. I mean, you can see the wear to the outsole there, it's, you know, they have 13 miles on them so far, so they look pretty much brand new other than a little bit of discoloration from the road and, and being outside. Um, but, you know, the couple of concerns I had at the start in my first impression video when I took them out of the box, you know, with the laces here, uh, rubbing the foot potentially, wasn't an issue so far. I mean, I haven't gone more than an hour in them yet, but uh, I will take them longer this weekend for sure. I've got, I think, an hour and 45 minutes to two hours scheduled on Saturday. So I'll do that for sure and see if that becomes an issue as it runs longer. I am noticing a little bit of an issue with the lockdown in these because of the way that the tongue is, there is no uh, additional hole up here for the lace lock. Um, and it's just, it's not, it's not ideal, the, lo the locking, the lockdown there in the heel. So I gotta continue to play with that. But comfort wise so far, these things have been great. Honestly, uh, you know, my other experience in a Hoka carbon plated shoe is the Bondi X. Uh, these feel so much better. I mean, just so much better. They feel a little bit more cushioned, uh, lighter weight, which is a huge big, I mean, a big deal there. Uh, so yeah, I, I've been happy with the Carbon X3 so far. They are very breathable. Uh, you can feel the air blowing through those as well as you're on the road. So I think that'll be good in the summer. There is one issue I'm a little, I'm, you know, I, I'm kind of concerned that the ball of the foot might be an issue because I had uh, both times I've run just not like a, I don't know, just a little indication that there could be something there if I run longer in them. So I'll let you know after Saturday. We'll see how they do. One other thing that I'm, I've been noticing too is you can see here at the uh, on the shoe there, uh, hopefully it's focused and you can see it, but the uh, with the way the tongue is, you really have to, uh, for me, at least with my foot, uh, I have to pull these really tight and there's a lot of overlap of the material here that kind of bunches together. It's not really been an issue as far as comfort goes, but uh, we shall see again on Saturday when I go longer. But yeah, they're feeling pretty good. So, you know, definitely a contender so far. You know, I've only got 13 miles in them, only gone an hour, so I can't really make uh, any judgment so far, but definitely a contender for my marathon shoe uh, for the Knoxville Marathon on March 27th. So we'll see how the rest of the testing goes, but yeah, that's it. So if you wanna take a look at the uh, first impression video I did where I unboxed these, kind of went over them a little bit, and the Speedgoat 5s, it's gonna be over here. Take a look at that. Uh, and then over here will be a playlist of some other shoe reviews to check out too. So yeah, thank you for watching. I appreciate you all. If you haven't already, give the video a thumbs up. You know, that'd be cool. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next one.